Okay, I got a set of Evinrude Power Pilot side controls. These also fit uh, OMC and Johnson engines also. Um, they work really smooth. They're really smooth going through the, the motions. Choke works. Q feels really good. It's got the push choke here. Um, but the finish is just really bad on it. So I'm just going to sand it down and repaint it with some paint I got here laying around the house to make it look a little bit more presentable. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take out the, the throttle and the shift uh, cables right here. They, they're always in the way. So we'll start with that. I take out three screws. This one, this one, and this one. A lot of the times on controls that have never been opened, these are really hard to uh, take off. So I have an impact screwdriver just in case. And these ones aren't too bad. Next, take out the shift handle or uh, Allen wrench here. Make sure your shift handle is in the neutral position. Get that out. Okay, there's that. So now, just carefully just start working them well I guess you got to take off the handle so push up on this let's release it and wiggle it off gently there we go there's that now you can take it apart and start wiggling it and don't pry it just wiggle it and there you go They're both halves so I'm gonna take off this cable and this cable here so this is real easy. There's a little pin here. Just take it out. Take the cable out. Pry it up. Pry it up there. Slide it out. There's one, uh, one gone. And then for this one, you gotta take out this screw and this screw. Little plastic, uh, this little plastic piece keeps this pin in place right here so it doesn't fall out and also holds the other pin in place also. So just want to pry that up. Take it out. There's the pin. And pry this one up. Number two out. So put these to the side. And you got now both both halves so all the parts in here they move really freely so I'm probably not gonna mess around with that um, I'm gonna check this to make sure the uh, ignition works when you turn it to the on and this is the neutral start switch right here so I'm gonna test this uh, just to make sure it's working uh, that's really easy to do with the voltmeter but the main thing I'm gonna do and I just want to re repaint this. So I'm going to sand it down a little bit. Probably going to take these two stickers off and just repaint it with what I have here. Same thing here. Take the two stickers off and just repaint it, make it look a little, little bit better. So now I'm going to start stand, sanding it. Now I'm just going to shoot it with some uh, grease lightning blast to get some of the grease off of it. Let that soak in. I don't know if I'm gonna paint this white or black yet. It just depends on what kind of what kind of paint I have sitting around. I'm not gonna buy any paint for this. 
So we'll see. I'm gonna take off the uh, choke handle just to make it a little bit easier. Oh, it's really on there. I got it though. Well, it comes out to the side. push out and then we're good there's that piece Now it's the handle's turn. All right, I finally got that little screw out. Took a long time now. Uh, I'm gonna start wet sanding this. about the back because you can't really see that. Is this. Okay. All right. That feels really smooth so I'm gonna go with that. All right here's the back side. It actually Primed it real nice. So, it should look good when it's done. Alright, I just sprayed this part. The back side looks pretty good. That's the handle, came out looking really good. So, I'll probably put one more coat on it and then put it back together. Okay, it's the next day and the paint stall dry now. And everything came out real nice looking. It's a little lever. I kept calling this a choke lever, but it's not a choke lever. The, the choke's here in the key. This is the, the fast idle lever, I think. We're starting. There's that. Came out real nice. There's the handle. Came out real nice again. Here's the back side. Came out pretty good. And here's the front side. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing back together. Put a little grease on it too. I 
there's a lever. I did put a little grease on the inside of there. So it does move really nice now. All right, I put some grease in here. I put some grease around here. Now we're gonna get this thing back on here, but we gotta take this off right here first. Get this. Real nice. So now we want to get this on. That there, that, that there. A little bit more grease. Okay. A nice movement so that's that so now I think we're gonna put a little grease on this right here put the grease in here It's really good. So now I want to do is get this little pin right back in here. All right, and I put that cover back on. Now, I'm going to put the two sides back together. So, put this side in there. Now, when you're doing this, you got to be careful because that right there has to line up in here, right here. So, 
you may have to play around a little bit to get it to where it's actually going to go in without hitting. And that's hitting a little bit, so just move it. Try it again. Still hitting. Move it a little bit more. This lines up like that. There we go. It's all lined up. Close to look. It's all lined up here and here. All right. So put those. Three big screws back in. Take those up. Okay. Now for the handle. Okay, there you go, looks a lot better than it did. Operates real nice, fast idle. That grease really helped out, but that's it, all done. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.